what we got going to go over today is about our well and more of a review uh, on an item that I installed to go with it. It was when we bought the property, the well was already here because they had done, been doing the firm farming and they also um, had horses and some cattle on the property and all that. We bought it. We had a well company come out, uh, check the equipment over, do, uh, you know, done the test on the water as well. The water came back. It was moderately hard. It had iron, elevated levels of iron and also elevated levels of sulfur. With that, you know, we first got here, you ran the water, the hard water is what it is. You, you see the white deposits, all that. Um, we didn't really see any reddish stains or any of that from the end of the iron, um, but we did notice the sulfur. Uh, it, it wasn't overpowering, but it did have the, the sulfur, you know, rotten egg, a little bit of smell and all that too, and taste as well. So that was something I didn't, wasn't looking to really live with. So what I did was a bunch of um, research and went through and what I came up with and figured out that I wanted to do was this unit right here. This is a Duralwater air injection iron eater filter. It removes iron, manganese, and hydrogen sulfide, as you can see. It's I uh, ended up building a uh, concrete pad for it, keep it off the ground. With that I also put a stake into the ground all the way down right through the pad and to give it uh, some sort of strength and ability there. I'm going to eventually change those straps out and put metal straps on as well. It um, seems to be working very well at this point. I also had to, they had, their box was destroyed. They had a plastic box. I went in, changed out the electrical box, put a metal box in there. Also then put a weather tight, um, outlet cover for transformer because that is a, it comes with a, a transformer on it so I also had to go through and when I did all the plumbing on it I updated some of the stuff they had was sort of all over the place as you can see so I really had to live with what I got because eventually to get all redone I just wasn't going to re redo it all at that point uh, most of the time, these units that you see in the people that review them, they're usually in basements, well houses, because of, you know, people's climates. Being here in Florida, it doesn't have to be. It is, I do have this in an overhang covered area, try to keep it out of some of sunlight. So with that, normally, people drain them, and you'll see the drain goes down, and the instructions even tell you to put it to a, uh, a regular, you know, household drain. I don't have a household drain right here, so what I did was I instead took a uh, roller garden hose I had because I needed something that would hold up to UV relatively well, and I went ahead and ran it down, and for now it just goes out, and then it comes down, and then it goes out to a perforated drain pipe because the backwash really is nothing more than it's rinsing out some, some of the iron and the sulfur in it, so it's really nothing bad for the environment or any of that so it does a backwash on it because it's a carbon filtered uh stock comes it's it's backwashing right about every three days it's got a digital you can manually override it if you want to upgrade it and have it backwash a little more depending on the, the amount of water you're using and your household size uh the three days has been plenty seeming to be here for us it um it has worked wonders for the sulfur. Uh, I should also get through to that the, um, it was about 600 bucks. And that was delivered to me, obviously not installed. Installation really wasn't anything major. If you can do PVC pipe, yeah, you, you should have no problems. I did 
The with that it also has the media. The media in it is the top comes off and you can recharge it. Some of them you can when you buy them they ship them the media separate. This came with the media in it and it was just a plug in top and I had to install all the electronics on the top. The uh, media depend on how how often and how hard water uh, not hard how much it gets abused and used for your your water system is replaceable uh i don't remember the price i can look that up on it and they say the average is about seven years so you get a lot of use out of it beforehand it has worked well for that the sulfur has come down you can't smell it all there's no taste any of that that's all gone uh the iron as i said we never really notice anything we do notice uh, iron bacteria, which this was never rated for handling iron bacteria. Um, so there is an, uh, an iron bacteria, which gives you the, you can look it up, the, the buildups in say toilets and all that. And iron bacteria does have a, a slight taste and smell to it. I'm going to actually been doing the research. I'm going to be putting, I looked up between a chlorination system and a Hydrogen peroxide and system. Both systems are injection, and they they'll come and there'll be a you know install barrel set up, and then there's an injector that goes into the line, feeding the system. Uh, I have decided I'm going to go with the hydrogen peroxide system because, from what I've read, uh, well the chlorination is basically it's bleach. You add a, add a dilated diluted bleach system in and that's what injects in there which cleans effectively well but this property is on septic and what i've read is you obviously don't want your septic is a bacteria field and you want it to be healthy and injecting bleach into it regularly is going to kill off a lot of the good bacteria and that's really not what something you want where the hydrogen peroxide is just that it's oxygen it's it's introducing oxygen in the system I'm not a scientist, I don't play one on TV, this is what I've read. Some people are going to maybe argue one way or the other. But that the diluted hydrogen peroxide is just basically oxygen. It does a, a great job for cleaning and will clean up the iron bacteria. And then the carbon system will take care of filtering that out. And it does not have any ill will, ill effects on the septic system which cost the septic system fields we obviously don't want that um but again it's been a great system to this point we've been using about six months so it's worked pretty well it uh, definitely has cleaned the water up dramatically uh we still have the hard water i'm not worried about the hard water to this point uh and my next step is going to be that the uh obviously the peroxide injection system and we'll get some video of when we do that as well but it's pretty simple system so that's what I've got for you today I appreciate you watching again if you know well we're gonna have quite a few of these as we go along eventually we will get to the build of the house but we've got a lot of smaller projects we're tackling for upgrades and, and just general livability things around here and so you know if there's if you enjoyed the videos at all you know, anything just general i'd appreciate you hit the subscribe button and hit the um notification bell if you want to be notified anytime uh, new videos come out i should have probably quite a few little short ones like this uh coming up regularly so thanks again and have a great day